What's up, you guys? Ben Elliott here. Today, I'm going to show you how I make edits for the club. So if you have ever come to see me, GJ, I make a ton of edits. I play a lot of my own edits all night. I just like to keep it fresh and keep it different than everyone else. So today, I'm going to run you through that. It's a fairly lengthy video. It's a, it's a fairly unedited video. I just wanted you to see my whole process. So we're going to get right to it. Let's get started. All right, guys, here we are. Hopefully this works. It took me a couple times to get the uh, audio routing in quick time. Here we go. So I've got Ableton open, and I'm just going to run you through how I make my edits. I'm sure some hater on here is going to be like, that's not how you make edits or whatever. You know, there's always going to be haters. Here's how I do it. Um, I've already given it some thought on on what vocal to use because I think YouTube gets funny with uh, certain vocals. So we're going to go with a classic rhythm of the night and I'm going to look for the acapella version of it. One of the most important things for me is getting like a really solid acapella. So we'll see. So let's try a couple of these out. This is the rhythm of the night. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Oh, yeah. All right. So step one done. So I'm going to use like a YouTube to MP3 downloader because it's just like the easiest way. We'll go ahead and bring that into Ableton. And because it's a club edit, guys, I've already, I've already set up the Ableton to be on 128 and only have these audio channels. Normally my preset, like my default uh, thing that you open in Ableton has like MIDI tracks and, and the sub all separated out. So for this, we've just got some audio tracks. That's really all you need. So uh, the next thing is to find out rhythm of the night, BPM, and key. So I'm going to use warping in Ableton. Some people don't use warping. It like blows my mind that you would use it without warping. Um, so rhythm of the night already has a tempo of 128. So we're already, we're already golden. We don't have to warp that. Um, and let's see. Let's find out what key it's in because that's going to be another so we've got it here f minor and it really you, i'm honestly once you get good at this way of doing it like you can knock out these edits pretty quick so it's a club edit i usually go with some like electro house kind of like edit uh and just try to change it up so you keep it moving but you people hear something they want to hear but then you surprise them with the edit um, I generally do edits for things that are not practical to do live. You know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, you could pick a song to like put the acapella over and whatever, but that's not super practical. And I want like a consistent, well-tuned result with these edits. So I'm here at Beatport. If you guys have never been on Beatport, go on Beatport. Um, but so I went to genres and I went to main stage. Um, and if you haven't been on here in a while, they changed up their how they do their genres. Most everything I'm gonna click on is main stage, okay? So main stage, and then I'm gonna go ahead and click on tracks because there's a very specific way that I wanna do this, okay? And again, this is not like the right method or the wrong method, this is just how I do it, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sort based on the key that the song that I'm trying to do an edit of is in. So. We're gonna go ahead and click on F minor. And you know, if we can't find anything, we can always pitch it up or down to match a different song. It's just, you know, it's nice if you can keep it in the same thing. If you can't, whatever. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through some of these. We're gonna find some with drops and verses that we like, preferably more than one, uh, because I like to do kind of like a double drop edit format for a lot of these things where you have one drop and then you have a similar drop, but it's like from a totally different song on the second drop. So we're just going to listen through some of these. Okay, I added that one. There's a lot of vocals on the drop on that. Uh, we have a little bit more leeway with uh, Serato stems now because you can kind of take it into Serato and then like re-record it and remove some of that. It's not my favorite way to do it. Uh, preferably an instrumental and a really clean acapella are what I want. But, you know, we'll see how it works. That 
the whole thing with this is just like a little bit of experimentation and try it. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. All right, so here we go. These are paid for. I'm gonna download all these to the desktop. And then we're gonna bring them into Ableton and see how we like them. And then I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you guys about warping and everything in Ableton. If you don't do it, it's such a powerful tool. And uh, the more you use it, the better you get at it. It's not really gonna come as big into play here, but when you're producing your own stuff and you wanna, you wanna make timing changes and things to like a vocal, it's invaluable. So, all right. So let's go show these in Finder. Back to Ableton. Now, real quick, before we bring these in, we're gonna turn the uh, we're gonna turn the metronome on and get this vocal lined up already. So. This is the rhythm of the night. The night. Oh yeah. The rhythm of the night. This is the rhythm. All right. So that's lined up. So now I'm gonna turn the grid back on to keep this lined up. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this to, I think we're gonna move it right there. Let's see. This is the rhythm of the night. One more over. Okay, so I was right. This is the rhythm of the night. Because that's a, a vocal that comes in early. So, and I know we're gonna have like an intro section right here. So now make a couple more of these because we got like six tracks. Duplicate these. All right. Now, one by one, we're going to throw these in here. And we're going to see where we're at with things. So now we're going we're gonna to warp these. So let's look. Your life is 126, so not 128. So where's your life? All right. I'm going to move this to this side for the moment. All right. So... This is 126, our intended BPM is 128. Obviously this is not gonna match up. So we're gonna hit warp, okay? Um, there's different things here. I find that complex works the best, okay? I've tried different ones. The consensus with a lot of people is complex is really the best one, okay? So you're gonna hit warp and make sure it's on complex and then you're gonna type what BPM it actually is. So 126, so now, this will be the right speed and we just gotta make sure it's lined up, which it looks like it already is. So, we're gonna turn all these off. Obviously, we need to line some things up, but timing wise, it's lined up. All right, so that's properly warped. We'll mute that for now. Um, Ritmo, let's see. So 130. So we're gonna do the same thing with this. Warp, 130. Um, and a little thing I've noticed, when you get the IAF or the AIF or the web wave versions, um, these are already lined up, but when you do an MP3, it adds a little space in front. Um, so these all actually might be lined up already once we warp them. Yeah, so that's already lined up. All right, so everything's warped. Now we're gonna, now we get to do the fun part, which is uh, play around and mix and match and whatever. Um, I am going to open up Serato, though, because it looks like for some of these, we're going to have to pull them into Serato, let Stems do its thing, and then re-record, basically, so to just get the instrumental. Like I said, that is not my favorite method, but depending on the vocal you're using and, and the song that you're using, it, it works. So, tracks for edits, video... So we'll actually just pull all these in here right now. Let it analyze those. All right. And then the other thing I want to do 
and I usually do this, especially if you really do get a good acapella, I throw a vocal chain on here. So, this is the rhythm of the night. so there's already effects, but I, you know, when you're doing an edit, it's going over different music than intended, and a lot of times it's not as loud as it needs to be, or as consistently loud as it needs to be. So at minimum, we're gonna put some compression on here. I have a vocal effect rack that I use all the time that I made. So we're just gonna throw that on there. Oop, wrong one. Delete that. Close all these. And I don't need the, I usually put auto tunes on there. I can take those off. The main thing I want is this compressor right here. I love this compressor. It's from uh, Universal Audio and it's a, it's a DAW version of a real compressor. So we can turn off this for now. We can turn off delay and reverb for now. This is the rhythm of the night. The night. I don't know if you can tell, but it's, it's louder with this on. And actually we're gonna make it just slightly more compressed and slightly louder. This is the rhythm of the night. The night. All right. So I like this song, the one for for this. So now we're in Serato. In Serato, you can do this stems thing. So I hit this. That's just instrumental. So I'm removing the vocal. Uh, so what I did was I went ahead and took the songs that we were going to need the instrumentals on and I just recorded them here. So we had this. And now we have this. You can kind of hear though, it's a little bit, it's a little bit like, I don't know. You can kind of hear that it's not quite a, a full instrumental here, but that's fine. So let's go ahead and, and see where we're at just kind of with this, with this vocal here. So that could work. That already sounds kind of dope. Um, and then what was the other one I did? Oh, this one. This was the one we were trying to do. So. So it was that. Now it's that. So. All right, so now we're just gonna start kind of moving things around, mixing and matching. I think, did we say this was, that's a good first drop. So I think what we're gonna do, mute that. Now we gotta decide. You know, the problem with the rhythm of the night too, you can see, this is the vocals. That's pretty much, it's pretty much the whole thing. That's like the whole song. There's not much to it, so. We're gonna, no matter what, we're gonna have to stretch this out and, and loop it or, or do something, but that's fine. We'll figure it out. This is the rhythm of the night. The night. Oh, yeah. The rhythm of the night. This is the rhythm of my life. My ah. Just had an idea, too. Kind of like this, maybe. Hmm. All right, sorry, I'm just trying to That's, that's what I was going for. That's kind of dope. It's 
Let's make this a little bit louder. Not what I wanted to do. Uh, maybe like this. Maybe instead of doing that. So I'm just trying to like extend this out in a cool way where it's not going to sound repetitive and you know because we've got a long this is a long build. Either one of these. So it's this one right now. You can kind of hear how that those these instrumentals aren't the best. You can still hear the vocal in there, you know, it's AI taking it out, so it's not it's not great. Real quick, let's see though, with this build. Do we like this drop? Yeah. Let's try this. already have this delay on here, so we're going to do this. We're going to automate this to just come on at the end, because that's the only part we want to catch. Maybe increase our feedback quite a bit. this over here So this is going to be the same. This is the rhythm of the night. Oh, night. Oh, yeah. The rhythm of the night. This is the rhythm of my life. All right, so we're off to a good start. This is kind of a dope intro, even if we use this other one, which let's try it. It's cool when it comes in, but it seems like it's missing something right here. It'd be cool. Hmm. I think I like this first one better. if we cut this down? What if we made it a real short build? I like to, with my edits, a lot of them, I don't like them to be long, drawn out deals. You know what I mean? I like to get to the point. Um, so we'll try it like this. It might not work. Oh yeah, that'll work. So 
we could do we do this actually so what we're gonna do we're gonna duplicate this track and then we're gonna take this and we're gonna kind of add this I think like we'll see how it works right here but so let's start at the beginning <laughs> Okay, those are obviously poorly timed. Put those in the wrong spot. Uh, but that's all right, we're getting somewhere. So, let me take you there. I think what we need to do is move. This is all a puzzle and all about timing, and we're gonna get it, but. I think if we're gonna use this at all right here, it's gotta come in like almost like ducked down after this. So we're off to a good start, guys. We're not gonna get everything of this exactly perfect off the bat. So what we're gonna do is, we, we've got a good start here. We're gonna decide what we want as a second drop here, because I like double drop edits. I think we just decided that's kind of dope. But let's, let's give a listen. I don't remember what these other ones are, so. Oh yeah, okay, I forgot about that one. Uh, what is this one? I 
I think my favorite is this one right here. So we'll put this here, have it on another eight bars out. Um, and then since we didn't use it before, maybe we try. All right, so that might work. Um, So, like I said, the problem with this rhythm of the night vocal, too, besides not being long enough, is that it's actually, like, extends a bar every time. So it's, like, always off time unless we retime this. So... All right, so we're making progress. It's really not that hard how I do it. Um, and once we're done with this, we're gonna we're gonna come back through and kind of polish this all up. But we just want like a structure, and we just want we want to get the general idea of what the hell we're trying to do here. So, which we have, right? So. We'll just listen all the way through.
So that's sounded pretty good so far. And actually, I'm going to cut this down to this. Like I said, I like things to be short to the point. Unless I have a reason to make something really excessively long. I'm I'm a quick mixer, so I don't need, you know, I don't need 24 bars to mix. Actually. What we'll do is this. That's fine. So now what we're going to do, we're going to come through. We're going to polish this thing up. We're going to finish it off. So let's let's drop some of these down. We're just going to completely take these ones that we're not using, drop these down. All right. So effects. I'm going to come in a splice here. Splice, not slice. There we go. All right. So I have certain risers and things that I that I tend to use. Um, I think there's like a cashmere one. Oh shoot, I gotta search in my library. So I have ones that I like to use. After a while, you'll find ones that you really like for what you're doing. There you go. Basic down sweeps. You know, keep it simple. Um, and then I actually have a favorite samples thing in here. Then I should probably just drag this in at this point. There we go. I use that one all the time. I use this and I use this, uh, this riser nature one a lot. Um, these are just ones I found over the years that I like. So, and actually here, here's what we'll do. I usually use the front end of this riser, which if you listen to it, it's just that. But it gets a lot louder at the end. I almost never need it like that. So we'll do like, do like this. We're gonna have to do something about Think what we're gonna do we're gonna have to do something about these vocals in here i didn't make a an instrumental part of that but i think what we'll do is this
I don't know if you guys can hear, these sweeps are already making a difference. Yeah, uh, so it's really important to do sweeps in your productions, but when you're doing edits, this is how, these are the sorts of things you use to bridge so it doesn't sound like you're just cutting from one thing to another. So, you know, use them sparingly. It, it can't be like all psh, the entire time, but you know, you can already hear this is making a difference. It's kind of bridging the gap a little bit. It's smoothing out that transition. <laughs> It might even take the one that it already uses at the end. There we go. If you don't know what this is in Ableton, these are your fades. Um, you don't really hear the tail ends of these things on, uh, on small speakers, but you will hear them like in a big club. I can sometimes pick up like, shit, I should have, I should have uh, like feathered that out a little bit so you don't hear it, so. see a thing I don't like about this but we're gonna just change it so what I'm gonna do is filter out this uh, base as we come up so I've got a EQ3 on here I'm taking the lows and I'm just filtering them out as we get to the there we go So all I'm doing here is just positioning my sweeps here where they help me out a lot. So maybe I just want the... What am I doing? Oh, yeah. I might want the tail end of this to be a little louder because we're catching like the, this had like a little vocal thing here and it kind of does a thing, but it doesn't really match. So maybe we just. reason I moved that is because I, I heard the last time through that we have this weird like you would expect a vocal right here but then it's like honestly we could probably just do this I 
if you're ever stuck and you're like, I don't like this little piece, most of this stuff is repetitive. You can probably grab another piece and, and no one's going to be the wiser. Um, let's see. You know what this could almost use right here just to take a little bit more attention off that weird stop is um like like a like a sub hit. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to hear this on YouTube or not, but so that works well too. So yeah, we've got this basically like kind of fleshed out here. these we're not going to use these sounded weird hold on i think i faded this a little bit too much there we go So we're getting there. I think we need a little bit more something going on right here. So we'll just probably change this up a little bit and add a little bit of flair and, and things like that. A little, a couple more sweeps, make sure everything's good. I mean, really, you can knock out these edits really quick, especially the more you get the hang of it and the more you do it. Um, I usually before a weekend of DJing, I'll knock out like two or three edits just to just to change it up for the weekend. You know what I mean? Because everybody's expecting certain songs or whatever. I don't want to have the same edit that everybody's playing all weekend. So I think we're going to try this. I think we gotta take this down a little bit. Maybe, maybe six, and then we'll actually add just the littlest bit of. We'll just take it down like by one as it comes. Up. And maybe we take these up a little bit. These are a little low. And actually, we'll do this 2.5, oh, negative 2.5. Yeah. Just out of curiosity. Yeah. Eh, no. 
not my favorite, but maybe, hold on. Maybe we do another one of these. You know, it's all about experimenting. What I like to do sometimes too, if you're gonna do this like repeated. So instead of letting that repeat like this, sometimes I like to, as it goes, like cut a little bit more. So something's changing, you're not positive what's changing, but they're getting just a little bit shorter here. Fade those a little bit, so it's not so weird. Put this up a little bit. Maybe for this, we turn the reverb back on. We'll see. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But try different things. I almost want it shorter on these clips. Let's see. Two. I'm, I'm kind of digging this. Can't decide how low, low I want this volume to go, but. All right, so I think that's kind of like basically it. We could probably clean it up a little bit more, but uh, you know, a lot of these edits that I make for the club are kind of quick and dirty edits, you know? Um, one thing I will do is just add a little bit of, a little bit of somethings around here. Maybe signal the end with this riser right here, just a little bit. All right, so we'll go through one more time. We'll listen to everything. I think we're gonna export this. Sorry, one thing that I forgot to tell you guys. Um, so I have a tendency to mix vocals very high. Um, and I think it's because I get the bass from these speakers. So the bass kind of overpowers you and you think, I can't really hear the vocal as well. Um, I have this filter on my master that I keep on here all the time uh, to not bug my neighbors. And it's, a, it's just a high pass filter. So it cuts off at 120. You can adjust it. But basically, a lot of times what I do, just to make sure that I'm not... Um, that I'm not like over mixing the vocals. Um, what I'll do is, sorry, what I'll do is um, put a filter on there. And then if it still sounds too low like this, then I know it's too low. But if you cut some of the bass out and it, you'll realize how high this vocal is. So let's see, let's go. Give me love. 
All right, so just a quick little thing like that. Um, so now we'll turn this back off. We'll listen to the whole thing. So I was just slightly high, in my opinion, here uh, with the vocal. But we'll listen to the whole thing. We'll see how it sounds. If I make little changes during this, uh, just because I'm noticing things as we go through, which happens. This is the rhythm of the night. The night. Oh, yeah. The rhythm of the night. This is the rhythm of my life. My life. Oh, yeah. The rhythm of my life. So there you have it. It's uh, that's how I make my edits. Uh, some of them are more polished than others. You know, this was a little bit more quick and dirty, and and just kind of like let's get it done. Let's get let's get a cool vibe. Let's change it up. And really, that's the thing, right? You want to you want to be different, and you want to you want to uh, set yourself apart from these other people and and the edits that they play. You know what I mean? Uh, and I get complimented on my edits all the time. Maybe you guys think this edit sucks. I don't know, but it, it works with my style and it works with how I mix and everything like that. So if you like this, um, leave me a comment. If you hated it, <laughs> leave me a comment. Either way, subscribe, guys. And uh, let me know in the comments, too, if you would like me to put a link to uh, previous edits that I made. I have tons of them, so maybe I could put together like a little edit pack or something. But anyway, that was it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.